it's tied. Wagon is going for test. And also, hello, welcome to the channel. So now, we've just been through the wagon, check the door, doing the last few bit, little bit. That's just quickly bounced on the wheel nuts, making sure they're all tight. Obviously, wheels have been off. I've got to check my lights off, and yeah, the lights are working. Phone works. I've got all the paperwork. Oh, see. Lights are all working. I'll take my poppy out when I get there and take my num num uh, name board out the window. But if I'm running up the road, I want to have them in. Fine. Got my tyre pressures. So, in a minute, I'll be setting off the concert and going up to Elvis. Ready, ho, let's go. Lift lifts up, let's go. Take the handbrake off. It does work and nice, which is nice. Yeah, I'm going home. Well, I just stopped at home quickly because I'm just down the road from the test station, so that's why I set off a little bit earlier. Uh, I have had a problem where I had a motor wing come loose, a couple of the bolts rattled loose. So I've just fixed that, I was on the mid lift, just fixed that with a bolt I had lying about in the house luckily. It's time to head up the road and see what happens. Fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed. We'll see. Well, we're here. Let's go and see what's going on. Ellen, got an MOT boot. I've never been for now. So I've got to go on back under the trailer. Ooh, this is fancy. I've driven past here a million times and never been in. So we're down for that trailer there, the one that's got the MOT sticker on it. I haven't backed under a trailer in a very, 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 very long time, so we'll soon see how I get on. There's that scum all man. The mirrors are crap. Can you clean them off? Yes, yeah, so I haven't done this in a very long time, so I need to get square on. And I've got spectators, which is not helping. Check it, because the last thing I want to do is have a problem. Down the man, walk in here. That's the clunk. We need the pull test. One, two. But hey, put my gloves on and do my Susie's. Well, I've got the trailer on, so now I just need to. There's a bay over here, I need to park that. Let's crawl over here. There's a bay here. The pole is in when they're ready. So we'll wait here, I think. Should I go and see what's going on in the uh, in the office and see what he says? Well, we've got sad news. She failed, but she failed on not much, which is the good news. So it failed on. She went through her emissions actually really well. Um, she went through everything else. A couple of advisories, tyres which we knew about. Uh, and 
now it's neat it wants it's got an air leak on the offside rear on the foot brake when you put the foot brake on so i'll have to have a look at that the exhaust flexi is still got a leak see so i need to fix that and um the suspension level rod which i completely knew about and i just completely forgot about That's that, uh, I clean forgot to put the nut on the bottom of it. There's two nuts on it, and I need to take one off and put it on the bottom, and I just completely forgot. So, unfortunately, I was, I did try to see whether I could get it back in for a retest today or tomorrow, but unfortunately, I can't. But she's booked in for retest in uh, a week's time, next Tuesday at 10 o'clock. She's booked in for retest. Yeah, fine. So yeah, apart from that, we're hunky-dory, so all the bits, essentially, all the bits I've done are hunky-dory. The tyres which are coming up to their 10-year probation, and what was it? Yeah, just exhaust flexi, which I can fix. I can fix all these things in a, tonight, if I want to. Uh, I'm sad, but I'm also kind of relieved because I think the things that I was worried about I'm not aren't a problem. So very happy with that. And also the the F7 is now booked in for MOT as well. I think I'll start using Eldis as an MOT station. They're handy for us. They're good lads. Nice, easy to deal with. Nice, pleasant people. Absolutely spot on. Thank you very much for all that. I'm gonna go have a cup of coffee, let the dogs out, and then I'm gonna go home. Go park the wagon next to the drive. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Like, I'm bittersweet. It's bittersweet. It's failed, but it's not failed on something big. On the way back down to the workshop now. I have to admit, we're in the middle of this. Storm. Is it still Storm Cathedral or something? And I haven't seen standing water like this for a very, 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 very long time. Some serious flooding going on. We're on top of the hill here as well, on the top of the 68. Look at all the water, man. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's horrendous. After me, so I am, like I said, I am, I'm annoyed, it, 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 upset it's not passed, but at the same time, I'm not because it's, ooh, this, uh, this looks like there could be a lot of standing water here by the looks of it. Everyone's backed up a lot. That's I've never seen it the flood this bad here. Wow. That's... This is next level. Wow. Good weather for the ducks. Oh, we're back into getting on with the wagon. First job's first. I'm going to have a look at that early because I know that's the thing I didn't know of. I know that's the thing I didn't know of. That makes no perfect sense, doesn't it? That's the thing that I didn't know of. So that's the thing I'm worried about. So being in, I've knocked the handbrake off. And I've put the, hand, the, the foot brake in with the, the lever, and I can hear now, coming up with this now, I can hear that leak, which I'd never even knew of at all, but I've never checked it. Oh, fifth wheel grease. I keep forgetting I put fifth wheel grease on. I've never had fifth wheel grease on it, so now it wasn't greasy, and now it is. Probably you might be able to hear as well. I can, like that. So I need to find out what that air leak is. After some investigation with me specialist leak finding stuff, soapy water, very liquid, washing up liquid and a squirty bottle. I found it. This ABS modulator valve. It was so good. Get it again, find that cup again. So if I soak that, wait a second, I'm sure a bubble will appear. What a fact. Also, if I... I can hear it. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, before I pull the one off the wagon, obviously because the one's on the wagon, it's still there, it's working. It leaks, but it's working. I can pull this one off, pull this one apart, to see what's inside it, and also, quite interesting to see what's inside one of these. So I pulled the bolt suit, I have actually knackered this one by accident. Send it down through the vise, and 
and snap this bit off the top of it. So it's knackered now anyway. So I'm not worried about it. I just want to see what's inside. So, so this is what's inside. I've just pulled this off. That's a little spring. It's a diaphragm full of uh, corrosion. No rings. Again, full of corrosion. This must be the valve so it controls in and out. It's a spring loaded valve. Again, more o rings and seals which are all dried out and corroded. So that's the solenoid block there. That's one. Yeah, without fire, then obviously it'll pump the air and stuff to stop your able to. It's a DABS, DABS stuff. Let's see if our, that must be air in. It's going through the diaphragm and that must pump it maybe? Not sure. Not sure. Should we pull the top off and have a look at the top as well? Sorry as well, I just realised that was all filmed in the wrong sideways. So that's a little... That's So it's just the same in the top as it is in the bottom. A little bleed... Bleed... Valve there. Air comes in, air goes out. Entrance, exit. Hmm. Kind of interesting. It's all scrap, so... So I'll put that in the bin, I think I'm going to take the other one off because I'm not going to try and seal it up after looking in that. Just done pulling the ABS modulator off now. Ugh, wiped some of the fifth wheel grease off the ramps because I've already put it on the door of a customer's car by accident. That wipe it off. It's a pain in the arse fifth wheel grease. So, I'm just going to get that plug out, which I bought me pliers for because... Oh no, hold on. I've already had it off, that's good. So it's these two nuts what were nuts there, so I'm just going to use the angry chisel knock them off and I'll take the whole thing off at once pull it all off at once and then I'm just going to put new bolts in with the other one, that's the easiest option I got the valve on, that was fun I cleaned off underneath and I squirted some paint on as well because I can take them off again and I'll squirt some more paint on just on the chassis doing there a bit my has gone dirty nothing to worry about <sighs> And then, next job, so I've got a valve on, I just need to check it's not leaking. The suspension rod, and then the exhaust paste. Lovely man, lovely. I'm going to do some more fiddling while I'm on anyway. I'm tempted to, or I've taken the tailpipe out because I've got my new one going. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to polish the new one up and then put that in. So it's all shiny before I put it all back together. Knackered. Now all I've done is fit that valve. Well, I'm here, and I'm on the back of the, the on the tanks. I'm going to try and get that rod off, because I'm going to make a new rod. If I can just undo this lock nut, take the whole rod out, and I'll take it out the right device and make a new one up. Uh, could be wrong. I'm just crapped out there. Okay. I know. I got it off, so obviously that goes into the valve which comes up and doing and controls the height and that's the old rod which is absolutely haggard like I said it was on the list of stuff to do but it got dropped by on priority because it was working I just forgot I didn't have a nut on the bottom of it I need to make a new one of these what I'm going to do is I'm going to sack this off completely it's knackered do, 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 do. Get this warmed up. I've already measured to do it with the old one. So it needs to go 90 straight 90. Easy peasy man. Now I've got to that cool down a second. Perfect, man. Then I'll cool down a second before I cut it and hold it because I've already burnt my little fingers. Rod. The crank of the dog leg in it. Runs up. Into my dinghy with two nuts and washers. Funky dory. And then loop and a cup of tea. Spotty dog. Easy peasy, I love making stuff and fixing stuff. 
It is one of my favourite things to do. I don't like just fitting new things all the time. I like to fix things if I fix them. So I just need to put some paint on that. Got some, got some black paint on it. Just letting that dry in front of the lamp quickly. I'm gonna put some seal it in the exhaust. Ooh, me leg nearly went there. That wasn't fun. Just getting them flexi clamps undone. But they're a little bit tight, so you can see I've got the thing I've already cracked off a lot, so with the, the gun. Plug loads of paste into there. Nip it all up. There we go. So I've got the, the clamp off and the flexi slid doing out the way. So I'm gonna fill this up, cover it all up and with exhausty poop. Gloopy gloopy. Get this on, clamp it up, nice all everything caked in it. Nice and sealed so it can't leak. It's funny, I'm looking under here and Testo is saying he, he feels bad going around knocking the paint off of the put in. I just put on. Uh, I'm not bothered, like. I'd rather he does his job and do it properly than knock a little bit of paint off. So I filled up the gap on inside of there and at the exhaust pipe, both sides, on the flexi. So that's all glued up. Got this filled with glue. If it's config glue in it, um, sealer in it, it's got sealer in it. Well, there's one thing for sure that's not going to leak. <laughs> oh. It's probably so Get up. We'll be here in a second. Just give us a second. I'm also thinking, I'm also thinking, me auto lube timer isn't working properly. Whoops. There you go. Talk to you while I'm lying doing here. My auto lube's not working properly, so I keep having to do it manually. And I'm not going to lie, I'm very tempted because this is the second timer I've had on it. Uh, the reservoir has got a weep from it. It's been blasted and painted, so it's not very clean and nice. And also, I don't know whether it even works. So, I am very tempted just to pull it off and put grease nipples in. I'd grease the wagon myself, and for the mileage it's going to do. I probably only have to grease it once a year. I only have to grease it like once a year. Go through the thing properly, clean it all off, every test or something. Wipe all the excess grease off. Away we go. I know there's a lot of grease nipples and a lot of joints and stuff, but... As well, the other thing positive about doing that is I know it's getting lubricated, I know it's getting done properly with decent grease and stuff. Uh, not that auto lube doesn't work well, it does work very well, but when it doesn't work, it doesn't work. What do I do? What do I do? Well, the rod's in. Well, super duper. Pumpy dory, look at that, man. But she's a little bit higher than I want on the back end. I need to drop the, the rod down a bit. That's the rod done. It's all lock nutted up. Punky Dory. Got the brake pushy do need me bob in place. Handbrake off. Need more leak. Spotty dog. Spotty dog. So that is everything for done for, done for test. So now the suspend the suspension, the MOT side is all done. Let's have a look at my new tailpipe. Yeah. Now we'll see. I'm going to have to do a little bit of modification to it because currently it only went that far out of the box. So that would mean I'd have a six foot stack sticking out the top of my cab. Which is okay if you've got an Olympic or an air kit. I don't. It looks a little bit daft. I'm going to start. That's just first stage. So there's three stages with the, the stainless compound. So I've got that one, the black one, which is stage one. Which just rips all the crap off and the tarnish off. And then stage two will obviously give it a bit better shine and stage three will be better shine again. So getting the exhaust prepped, I've given it a quick polish over. It's not finished yet, but it's much tighter than it was. I want to polish the whole thing up at once, like mid, if I get time before truck fest, because I almost also just had a panic about how close truck fest is. Two weeks away. So really I've got two weekends. Do I have time? I don't know. So We've been looking at it and decided to take the badge off, the plate off, and I'm going to put it up in turbo. That was it, it was about, that's three foot, that's 30 inches, so that's about two and a half foot. So somewhere in between there, I'm comfortable. Plenty at the top, plenty in the, in the box. Let's put your dog, let's get, try and get that in the box now. So we're not doing that today. I just spent about 20 minutes trying to wiggle that in. Dad pointed out, if I only get it halfway in, like two or three foot in, I've got, I'm running this home tonight. I've got to take for testing, uh, retest in the morning. If I get that stuck, 
there's big problems. Whereas I can run that right now without the tape tail pipe in. I don't like to, but I can do it. Parked up to its side. Just jump her in there. Get her on home. Oh, so I need to stick one of these on her. I wonder where I can stick one of them. Uh. Woo! Let's head on home. Cruising along the uh, A69 there, 56. Just uh, flick that cruise control button on. Cruising along. With me cruise control, Jay. Jay with me uh, 1999 ERF's cruise control. Rolling along lovely. With me cruise control on. What does what your scan you not have, Jay? Cruise control. It doesn't have cruise control. Or one of these good old, good old boys. Big old stick with three pedals. Yeah. Lovely. You ready to see? She fits on drive. <laughs> she fits on the drive. How cool is that? Let's go. Oh, you can also see the mats that I'm going to have in it. Need some modification. A TikTok shop. The cheapest chips, so I don't mind butchering them. This is a good idea what they're gonna look like. So here we are, ready to go for test. Wagon's built up there, we're building up there. Let's get ready to go. So I'm just sitting in the wagon. I just wanted to take this opportunity to say I've got the new Philbilly merch hoodies, and I've got some stickers as well. If anyone is interested, drop a comment, drop us an email. The hoodies are 30 quid including postage and the stickers are, I'll, I'll throw in a sticker, a couple, a couple of stickers with hoodies as well. Well, we're sitting in um, Eldis, I'm just uh, showing off the old hoodie there, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Sitting in Eldis, it's transport yard, waiting to go in for retest, wait, hope for retest. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So I've just got to run around the corner now. It's been called around. It was funny enough, it was as I jumped out to go for a wee. Yeah, yeah, just a clutch again. Now I've driven it a little bit, I think it's all settled in a bit more. It isn't like that was my fault because I tried to put it in the first one, it was going forward. Let's see what's going on. That's done, now I've just gotta hope I can back it into that where it was. Because I haven't backed the trailer like this in a long time either. Let's see how many attempts this takes us. Because I haven't done this in a long, 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 long time. Make my arse of this, like. Put a shunt in. It's funny because it was actually two years to the day when I was last for test. When, it, like, when I was in for test last time, it was two years to the day that I'd been in. Uh, I passed my class one. 9th of April. I can do this, I can do this, yes I can. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Ignore everyone else because I have an ERF and they don't. I'd rather put a shunt in than make an arse of it and damage some it. Better be safe and sorry. As the saying goes. There we go. Just gonna take the trailer off. And head over and park up and see how she did. I'll put you there for a bit of change. We are clean and green, roll done, dusted, hunky dory. That's the bit you want to see. Lovely. Now I just got to head back down to work, do some actual work. Oh, it's warm. Really warm in the sun. It's lovely. Mr. Stop pulled over. Let's give you a quick uh, POV drive, I think. Yeah. That's a nice picture, that. There we go. Spotty dog. I just gotta get around the corner now. There we go, hunky dory. I'll jump in there. Let's get ourselves away.
16th. Oh, that was 14th. That's 15th. That was 16th speed, not 18th speed. There we're in, we're in top. And Jay, I'm just gonna uh, stick my cruise control on. Lovely. Into the slip road into Hexham. Can't wait to have the Jake brakes on, like. And that's it. We're packed up, back at work. She's passed. We're all happy. Winner. So, time to get on to her. But that's it for this video because she's tested. And next video, I'm going to be getting on with starting the Lincoln prep. I want to get the thing, an oil change done on there, but I've just been pricing up the costs of it. It's scary. It's something that needs to be done, so thank you for coming with us to the test station. Shame about it failing, but she's passed now. She's all hunky dory. Everything's sorted. <sighs> we're flying, we're flying now. We're flying, we're getting there, we're getting there. Finally, but yeah, I think next job is service it, get the oils done on there, oils and filters done on there. I know it's already had a fuel filter on it, but I might do one anyway, depends how much it is, because I don't have that much money. And yeah, I'm going to get the Aminox off, so I can take that off, strip it down, take the cover off and stuff, polish it all up lovely, and stick it all back on. I'll take this off and vapor blast it and make it all spotty dog. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you're interested in a hoodie or any of my merch, stickers, whatever, drop a comment or get in touch with us. I will be setting a merch shop, shop up soon as I get a chance. I'm well happy, I'm well happy. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming with us on this journey. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, especially hit the subscribe button to come back for more if you want to stay up to date with the old ERF project. And also, we've got the F7 and the Scammels tucked away, so it's not just the ERA. And I hope to see you all soon at Lincoln Truck Fest. And like I say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, 